Hi, this is Randy Rolf from the Institute for Creative Solutions, sharing foundational concepts about vibrant health through natural living. And what I want to talk about today is vibrations. Um, our body is actually a matrix of energy, which holds different molecules and cells in place in the organs where they do their work. And uh, what's so important is to be in natural vibration because that is what all life evolved in. So that's why going outside feels so good and walking barefoot in the sand or barefoot in your garden or hugging a tree, you're getting the natural vibrations from the earth rather than alternating current from our electricity and uh, microwaves from our computers and uh, other kinds of waves from our refrigerators and all our appliances that are electrically connected. And our phones, of course, they're always looking, searching for different um, energies and uh, frequencies. And all of these are alien to our healthy bodies. So we need to surround ourselves with the healthy energy and make sure that whatever we put into our body is, is uh, helping to balance that vibration, its pulsation. There's actually theories that the whole universe pulsates at a certain rate, and our magnetic field that surrounds the earth protects us from dangerous frequencies that are constantly emitting from the sun. And there's regular changes in our magnetic field over hundreds of thousands of years, sometimes tens of thousands of years that affect how the sun affects us, how much sun we get, how much uh, uh, ultraviolet light we get, and the kinds of vibrations we're exposed to. So all of life has gone through these kinds of changes, but we've always had that vibration from the earth. And uh, when we live indoors in our concrete or um, in insulated homes with concrete basements uh, or slabs, we are blocked from the natural magnetic field of the earth. So that's why it feels so good to go to a park, to a mountain, to a beach, to a forest. And we need to do that as often as we can but in modern life, we can't do it that much. So um, take a walk every day somewhere where you can be in touch with the earth or growing things. And if it's warm enough, take off your shoes and uh, walk on the ground. Um, concrete doesn't do it. It blocks the natural energy because it's ground up all kinds of um, rocks that were developed in the magnetic field, but then you just blend them all up so they're not exhibiting that same field that they were created in. Uh, so you can actually show how you're stronger on the ground than when you're on concrete or asphalt. Uh, but in your home, there are things you can do to give that extra energy so that you get that balance and more of the healthy vibration so that your body works well. One of the things is grounding. Um, you get that when you're barefoot out on the ground, but we have grounding pads now. And the company that I'm affiliated with has what I think is the most superior uh, grounding pad. You can put it anywhere under your feet at your desk, just take your shoes off or under your pillow or under your feet in your bed or around your shoulders. It just needs to be in contact with your skin because we do conduct energy uh, through our skin. And uh, if we're hydrated, we do even more of that. So that's why it's so important to stay hydrated when you're out hiking. And um, then a whole nother uh, line of products will put you in the magnetic field as if you're outdoors. So I'm wearing a magnetic bracelet here, magnetic bracelet here. I do have magnetic necklaces. I didn't wear them to date, but I'm sitting on a magnetic pad at my desk. So some of this energy that's coming out of my computer when I'm writing all day, see my books, um, they, it keeps me relaxed. So stress does not build up based on the unnatural frequencies that are surrounding me from my printer and my copy machine and my phone and my um, my computer, it's this new computer. I have my old one still there in case I 
missed something. So there's so much going on, but if I'm sitting on the pad, I can work a couple of hours without getting stressed or tired or, you know, muscle soreness or repetitive motion problems in my wrists or whatever. So um, my company, Niken, N-I-K-K-E-N, has a full line of products, which I've been using for now 23 years. And my husband and I believe it's really helped keep away signs of aging. Uh, neither of us are on any particular prescriptions to um, deal with any problems because we feel fantastic and we wake up ready to go. So uh, vibration is key. And of course, as you know, I'm a nutritionist and nutrition is so important. Um, medications and additives and colorings and preservatives and um, agricultural chemicals that get into our food, all of those interfere with the natural matrix of our bodies. So you want to get as much as possible food that as it comes from the ground, cooked minimally, some foods really need to be cooked to be properly eaten, and humans have discovered that over the last 100,000 years. Uh, so you want to cook them properly so that the body can make use of them, but get plenty of fiber, plenty of healthy water, and then your vibrations will stay aligned and you'll respond better to the good energy when you go outdoors or use magnetic products or grounding products. So uh, the best thing to do is to balance your butt diet. You want to make sure you get your protein, whether it's eggs or cheese or or beans or meat, fish, it, it doesn't matter. You just really want to get enough protein to keep building the enzymes and the cell walls and the DNA and all. And then get uh, your vitamins and minerals, key, important, and then the quality fats. And all of those are involved in keeping that balance of your good vibrations, literally good vibrations. And we, we, you know, we talk about that in our rock songs and whatever, but all of life is based on vibration. And when we pass away, the, the vibration stops in our body. And that is the life force. And it's a beautiful thing. We want to keep it going. So that's it for today. Thank you. And uh, I've been working on a number of projects, so I haven't been posting for a while. So I hope you enjoy this post. Thanks a lot.